Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Murphy at the Upton Town Library. Just thought I'd make a quick video to share this picture with you along with a craft today. So can you tell what this is a picture of? It's a dandelion, that's right. And this is one of the plants we see all summer long at the very beginning when spring is ending and summer is here and all the way until the fall. And it's a very hardy plant. That means it lasts a long time. It takes a lot to get rid of these plants. Uh, they start out as yellow like this, but then they end up changing. Let me show you a picture in this book, and I'll tell you a little bit about these books as well. But the dandelions change and they look like this. Have you seen these in your yard before? I bet you have. Those are what dandelions look like when they change. So this book is called A Seed is the Start, and it's a great nonfiction book from our children's collection. This is by Melissa Stewart. And it's in with all the other books about plants. And the Dewey Decimal number on the spine right here is 581.4. So that's where you'd find books all about plants and how things grow. So that's one book. The other book about dandelions is a picture book. And it's called The Dandelion's Tale. This is written by Kevin Sheehan and Rob Dunlavy. And this is the story about this, this dandelion right here and the bird who finds him. And the dandelion doesn't have a very long life. So something happens to the dandelion and the dandelion wants to last and, and, and um, his memory be kept on. So you might wanna check that book out. And it talks about how the dandelion seeds fall and how they get replanted. But for our craft today, I thought we would take this printable, which I will include the link in the description below and we're going to do some fingerprints on our, on our dandelion. Instead of having it be white like it usually is, we're going to make a colorful dandelion. So today what I have is my paper, and I have this whole box here that I have of ink pads. You see those? So I've got all different colors. So these are ink. So we've got red. See what colors you recognize. We've got red. Orange, you can see somebody used this one and wasn't careful. They mixed their colors. So that's orange. We've got yellow. It's nice if you can keep them clean so the colors don't get all mixed together. Let's see what else I have. I have a little one here. Green, that's right. Other colors. This is a very large one. Can't really tell, but you can tell by the back. It's blue. And I've got another small one, purple. Let's see what else is in the box here. Pink. Um, oh, this is a nice fall color here. Brown. That's what the leaves turn to when it's fall. So I've got my whole box of ink pads. We're going to use our fingers and we are going to decorate our dandelion decorate all the little seed pods different colors. So I'm going to point my screen down and show you how to do it. All right, here we go. So here is my paper that you can print out from the link in the description. Um, we've got this whole one. If you don't have ink pads, that's okay. You could always just use paints. You could do finger paints, you could use markers. I'm going to set up a couple different colors along the side here so we can do that. I think I'll use this color. I think this is another maybe blue or dark purple, indigo maybe. So I'm going to get everything set up. Let's see. I might have to put some on this side. What other colors can we use? We didn't use green. Let's do that one. And maybe brown. All right. Anything else that looks interesting to me? I don't think that's good. Maybe this one. This is a nice color. It's like a teal color. All right. So remember I talked about not mixing your colors. You can do that um, if you're using paints. They won't mix on, on your palettes, but um, when you're using your fingers, if you use the same color twice, it's going to blend the color. So I'm going to use different fingers. So I think we'll start with red. So you want to get a little bit on your finger. There you go. Maybe do another spot. 
do a couple. And then I'm going to use a different finger, maybe for yellow. And it's good if you can do all those colors a few times. Fill in your dandelion. All right, so let's say maybe pink. It's a very light pink. Maybe some purple or blue, indigo. Let's see what it is. I don't think it's indigo. It looks pretty dark. This is a great way to talk about different colors with your kids. Um, how about some green? I'm going to use my thumb to do the green. Ooh, that's really nice. And you notice the different fingerprints come from the different fingers. You'll see different whirls and loops and shapes. I've used all my fingers on one hand, so I'm going to switch to another hand. Let's do some orange with my pointer. And this is just an easy craft. You can do this a bunch of times, print it out, and make different ones. You could cut these out when you're done and make some decorations with them. Let's see about the teal. Wow. And this is a little more interesting than just a plain old white dandelion, isn't it? Go. And how about a little brown? We didn't use that. Try to get every single seed pod. It's good for helping your kids take their time, use accuracy. Let's see, right in here. And then maybe we can go back and reuse some colors. So maybe go back, see if I can match up the fingers again. And the yellow. Maybe not. Maybe some orange again. Let's see. Have I missed any? There we go. I think I got almost all of them. Then the ones that, that I didn't get, those could be the ones that blew away already. So, when I'm done, I'm going to take a trip to wash my hands, or if you're at home, you can use something like some hand wipes. That would be great. I'm just going to use hand wipes here because I'm with you filming, but certainly wash your hands well. We all know that's really important right now. And then you have a beautiful, beautiful dandelion, and like it says at the bottom, make a wish. And all those seed pods will grow, blow away if you were blowing a real dandelion and grow new dandelions. So be sure to look for this book, The Dandelion's Tale, here at our library, or simply books about plants, such as this one, The Seed is the Start. Okay. See you next time, guys. Bye.